Hi there BMW owners, today in your 2022 BMW X3 series, we're going to be test fitting Kuat's NV2 platform bike rack. This is a platform rack that offers you security by hooking your bikes by the wheels, which is great if you have a carbon fiber bike. You don't want to clamp it onto the frame like some of the other platform styles do on a carbon fiber. It could potentially damage the frame from the vibrations. So by clamping it onto the wheels, we're able to haul pretty much just about any bike on this thing. If we take a look here at the front wheel, the cradle that it sits in here does have various grooves in it for different sizes. Whether you're gonna be using a road bike like this, it tapers down very small. Uh, up to your mountain bike sizes, it's got an opening there for those. And then even for your fat bikes here as well, you could uh, get those in there. It is recommended to stay away from fat bikes that are over about three inches. It can, you can exceed it. So just make sure you stay underneath that there. And then here on the back wheel is just a simple strap that holds it down into the cam buckle style mechanism there. And as long as you've got a way to feed that through your spokes, you should be good to go on the back wheel. This bike rack does have a tilt away feature. Now we understand here on your BMW, you can probably access the trunk without having to tip it down, but it is useful to have if you maybe use a couple of different vehicles. Maybe this is uh, you use your BMW when it's just maybe you or one person or just you going on a ride, but when you're going uh, maybe on a picnic or something, maybe you have an SUV you like to bring. And if you have a hatch on the back of that, the mechanism here you can pull and will allow it to tilt away. So that way you could open up the lift gate on your SUV. And it does give you more room in the back here if you needed to get into the trunk tipping the bike away, you can kind of get back here to access things in the trunk a little bit easier. And as an added security feature on the right here by the back wheel, there's a lock cable that's integrated into the bike rack. It simply slides out like that. And then you can attach it to your bike around your frame or, you know, however you want to attach it. We're just going to attach it here around the frame since that way there's nothing they could take loose here. They'd have to cut the bike, which would ruin it. So they're not going to do that and it locks back in onto itself. There's the locking mechanism there that you would release when you're wanting to take it off. That's where your key goes under the little cap there. And this cable would just push into here to lock it into place. And there's one of these on each of your platforms. So that way you can secure both your bike racks. And if you're not using it, it slides back into the storage position there. When you're ready to use your bike, simply press in the release button here, and then you can Pull that away. We can tip that down out of the way, which is a really nice design. It goes all the way flat. A lot of other styles with the arms. The arm's still in your way to take the bike off, which is kind of annoying. That's great that it goes all the way out of the way. We're just supporting our bike here in the middle, and then we can release the mechanism here on the other side. Just push in on the button. That'll slide off of there, and then we can lift our bike off. Now that we got our bike out of the way, we got some measurements here for you from the edge of our rear bumper to the furthest point we're right at about 35 inches so that's about how much it's going to add to the back of your vehicle it's important to keep in mind when you're maybe going to park your vehicle driving around town you got a little bit extra there hanging out in the back and the furthest point at the back here our clearance to the ground is going to be about 21 inches and our closest point to the ground here at the back is going to be here at this mechanism and that's gonna be at about 10 and a half inches. And the closest point here is going to be right at about 10 and a half inches. Now you do wanna keep in mind that that is gonna be dependent on the receiver. You've got uh, the hitch that you've got installed. Um, we're using a stealth hitch here, so it sticks out to this point. If you've got one that's tucked up further, it's gonna bring your measurements a little bit closer to the vehicle. We can all go ahead and put it in its storage position. So the mechanism here, when we pull on this, we already showed you could tilt away. It can also tilt up when we don't have any bikes on it to minimize how much our bike rack is sticking out the back. And now that we've got it in its storage position, our new furthest point is gonna be down here at the bottom. And it looks like we're at about 19 inches for our furthest point. Our new closest point here, at probably about our arms, looking at about six and a half inches. And our Distance to the ground is, hasn't changed in this position, so we're still at about that 10 and a half inch mark there. On top here, this is actually a really awesome device that's integrated into it, especially if you do a lot of riding. Uh, you know how it is when you ride, sometimes things break and it's just 
terrible when you're out there, you know, at the at the place you want to ride and then you have an issue and at that point you know you're like well okay i gotta go back home to fix it take it to a shop do i have my tools with me this is kind of like an integrated repair station here so you still need your tools so you can work on your bike but now you can keep those with you and when you're ready to work on your bike if you do have an issue out out there on the trail just come back to your vehicle the mechanism here you'll open the latch and then you can slide this up to whatever height that works for you you can tip it out it does have a max height there located at the bottom, so make sure we don't exceed that. And this mechanism here is our clamping mechanism. We're turning the knob here on the other side. And then we'll just take our bike, set it into position, and it'll clamp into place on here. Just tighten this back down. And this way you can choose kind of whatever the best position is for you to work on it. If it's upright like this, you could do that. If you needed to tilt it more, you could tilt it and then snug this down to secure it in that place. And this will just give you a good uh, workstation to be able to work on your bike. That way you don't have to just lay it on the ground. You've got it nice and supported. You're not going to scratch up your frame and stuff while you're trying to service it out there on the, you know, just right there at the, uh, at the trail. Kuat Bike Rack here is designed to work in a two inch receiver. So it slides right into those two inch receivers and it secures with the included pin and clip. Once you've got your pin and clip on there, this is a locking mechanism that holds on the side. It's not really a clip, I guess a pin and locking mechanism. This does come included with it, so that way you can keep your bike rack secure to your vehicle. And then the knob located here on the end is an anti-rattle device. It's built into the rack. You just simply tighten this down and that tightens it onto our receiver. So we see here, we've got no play between our bike rack and our receiver. The movement you're seeing there is actually our receiver uh, because this is a removable receiver that is installed on our BMW here. If we loosen this up, you'll see how much more play will be there. And look at all that play that's there now that we eliminate by simply turning this knob. Uh, a lot of other bike racks, when you go to secure them, the anti-rattle is made into the hitch pin over here and it's just a bolt that tightens down and that you know those work just fine uh, but those ones usually require to have some tools on hand to be able to get your bike rack installed you got to sit here and crank it down installing this one's a lot easier because you just slide it in hit the pin and turn the handle here at the end you don't even need any tools so as you can see here the kuat bike rack nv2 is definitely a premium bike rack it comes with a lot of extra features giving you that ability to service your bike right out there on the trail and the looks of the bike rack really pops you can tell this is a high quality rack in its finish its fit and when you're holding this thing it it's heavy which can be a little cumbersome loading and unloading it but as you're holding it you can feel that it is a well machined solid device it's going to give you lots of years of service this is our test course Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that completes our test fit of Kuwat's NV2 on our 2022 BMW 3 Series.